Hey guys, Dr. Kratzak here, and I had a great question today, and it's a question I'm really passionate about. And uh, you know, someone asked me why do people only go to a chiropractor when they're in pain rather than just to get healthy? And I think that the, the easiest answer to that question there is that some people just don't know. Right, and so that's why I love sharing this information because you know so many people, and really as a culture, we've been brainwashed into, um, you know, basically we judge we judge our health by how we feel, right? So we wake up in the morning, we feel good, we must be healthy, right? And, and unfortunately, we've been so brainwashed into thinking our symptoms are a problem, right? So even the example of like a fever, right? So many people they'll get sick, they'll get a fever, they'll get the runny nose, right? The fever and the runny nose are the result. That's the result of you being sick. That's your body adapting and expressing health, right? That's your body adapting to you having a virus or a pathogen in your body, right? Your body is making mucus to try to get that out and block anything else from coming in. Your body's creating a fever to try to kill that virus, kill that bacteria, right? So your body can get back to a normal state again, right? So we gotta change the way we think about health, about disease, right? You know, many people think a disease is like, ah, I got, I got disease, it just, showed up one day. And the truth is for most things, right, it doesn't happen overnight, right? It happens over many, many years. And, um, you know, with the, with the exception of like trauma or, um, you know, infections or things like that, those could happen pretty quickly. Um, but I know two examples of people personally who've were seemingly healthy and then one day they just passed out, ambulance came, um, and after a multitude of tests, right, they find out they have stage four, uh, stage four lung cancer. Right? It's like, how does this happen? And so we can't judge our health by how we feel, right? And so in the context of a chiropractic office, I have so many people come in and they're like, hey doc, uh, my back just went out. I have no clue what happened, right? I just picked up a pen off the ground. I, you know, I picked up some laundry um, and my back just went out, right? And so after doing an evaluation, uh, seeing what's going on for some people, we'll take x-rays and we'll see, wow, you have, you have a scoliosis and this has been here for years and you have at least 10 years of degeneration, right? Oh, well, I never had a problem before, it just happened this week, right? And like, oh, I understand the pain happened this week, but if this problem's been building for years and years, right, that pen was just the trigger. And the truth is dysfunction precedes pain. Poor health, poor function precedes disease, right? And so we gotta focus on um, really building health in the body and understanding the concept of we're either building health or building disease every day with the choices we make, going to the gym or not, eating healthy or not. You're either moving yourself toward health or toward disease. And the same with um, you know, chiropractic care and your biomechanics, right? If you're having poor posture, if you're on your cell phone all day versus going to the gym, working on rehab, right? Every decision you make is ultimately going to affect your health and which direction you're moving in. Right, and so this is so important. And so, you know, I would love to see more people come in for a well, wellness evaluation. I'd rather take care of you and see you once a month than have you come in with a blown out disc and have you be there every day for a month. Um, I'd rather see healthy, happy people come in versus people struggling every single day, constantly in pain, chronically in pain, right? A lot of these things, so many of these things can be prevented if you invest in your health now and you focus on building health in the body, getting yourself stronger and making your body more resilient, right? Because at the end of the day, if you're strong, right, your body's resilient, you're gonna be more, um, more resilient to all these stresses that come on in our daily life, right? So you can, confidently bend, bend over and pick up a pen off the ground. So you can confidently lift your kids over your head, play with your kids, you can hike, you can do the things that you wanna do, right? All these things are gonna be dictated by the choices you make. And if you invest in your health now, you really focus on building health in the body, right? You're gonna benefit so much more than waiting till it hurts. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. We'll see you in the next video.